Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, wow, it feels like a very long time sitting here and recording this video, but it feels good. So we hope that you're looking forward to this video. Yeah. So welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, we're glad you are back. Thank you guys for tuning in back again to the new service. Welcome to the family, to the retaining service. Thank you so much, guys, for the love. Um, so this week we'll be discussing time bank mm -hmm. most of you requested this video while we did though the other videos where we we're talking about the interest rate with the different banks a while back we'll link the videos up if you haven't checked them please do check them out and most of you did request that we talk more about broadly about time bank that you would like to know more about it so you will not only talk, be talking about their savings we have covered it in those videos but we will briefly cover it again here so we'll be talking broadly about time bank we really hope guys you you guys enjoy this video and if you do give us a thumbs up comment down below share your thoughts with us and your experience with time bank so yeah time bank was established in 2015 over 2 million people have joined the bank which means it's doing very great people are enjoying the benefits they're enjoying the savings time bank is an online banking system so it does not have any branches it works hand in hand with boxer and pick and pay so one would ask okay how do i open an account since well i can't walk into a branch so you need to go to your internet download the app and you will be required for your said number and your cell phone number they send you a one-time pin to verify it's you and then you set it up then you're good to go your time bank account is set up and then now you can do your transactions and all those things yeah so in your time and bank you've got two things you've got your everyday account which is normally where you deposit cash in, you transfer money in, and then you've got your gold safe account where we're going to talk more about it later in it's, the video. It's actually a savings account actually inside is. your time bank account. Uh -huh. yeah. We're going to cover it more later. So um, with the everyday account, you for you to for the transition let me talk about the transition fees in the everyday account if you want to make a payment to a non-time bank uh, account let's say your fnb or your capitec you are charged two rand the fee and then for a debit order you are also charged two rand and then if you make withdrawals at the uh, another atm since time bank doesn't have an atm yet we don't know hopefully in the future it will come but i think we necessarily don't need it but you pay uh eight rent per one thousand rent and okay. um, and then there are other associated fees that comes with the time back everyday account such as if you want to dispute a debit order that is older than 40 days you pay 40 rent if you want to replace your card you pay 50 rent and then if also there's a late payment reversal that you want to make on time bank there's a charge fee of 150 yeah. So, okay, talking about these charges, one will wonder, okay, what do I get for free? Yeah. Benefits, basically. Mm. The things that you get for free and mostly maybe most of the banks also you get, but right now you are concentrating on time bank, is that you get free SMS notifications, uh, you buy electricity for free, you buy airtime or you buy data or SM, um, SMS bundle for free, you withdraw cash at either pick and pay or at boxer for free. So time bank is associated with these two shops currently. Mm -hmm. You can withdraw uh, cash from there, and then you get your twelve months bank statement also for free. There are also other benefits I just mentioned. The one that I think mm -hmm. uh, are very much important. So she concentrated more on how you can get your money, but she didn't specifically say how do you put your money in that mm -hmm. in your bank. So you can put your money by depositing, taking your money from another bank to this other to your time bank so if you have an fnb or a capital or a standard bank you would have you would also have an app for that so you will uh transition money from your standard bank to your time bank okay. which will be in your everyday saving uh, everyday account mm -hmm. or you can deposit it from boxer or pick and pay yes then you can deposit them you have your money in your time bank mm -hmm. you can also um transfer your salary to time bank um, it's, uh, uh, I think right now you'll have your salary at whatever even you want, you can transfer it and you'll have more benefits while you do that. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the gold save account, which is also linked in the time bank account. Okay. So you have your gold save account inside your time bank account. You can set up up to 10 gold saves account and you can name them differently to suit you. So mm -hmm. if you have a, 
a, a, a goal that you want to save for a vacation, you can want to save for a car, you want to save for a house, you want to save for a cell phone, you want to save for a camera, whatever it is, you can have 10 gold save account. And then you will put them there in and then you can deposit money into those accounts and you will earn interest. So the interest are as follows. For 1 to 30 days, you will get 4%. Mm -hmm. So this will be will each for for each goal save that you have mm -hmm. and then for 31 days to 90 days it's five percent and 90 days plus it's six percent yes which is great yeah it, and then it tops all the banks mm -hmm. and then if after 90 days you give them a notice period of 10 days that you want to withdraw your money you get an additional one mm -hmm. percent the other additional one percent that you could get is when your salary goes into your time bank account after 90 days you will get the one percent of the 10 days period and also get the extra one percent which means that you will get extra eight, two percent which will Amount, accumulate yeah. to eight percent of interest yes but the one disadvantage about this goal save account with time bank is if you want to now withdraw your money if you say okay from my goal save number one which is vacation i no longer want to go to that vacation and i want to or withdraw it's time my, or it's time for to you go. to go to that vacation or you want to use a certain amount of that mm. money and you say okay i've saved five thousand but now i want to withdraw two thousand time bank says no it's either you take all your money or you leave all your money yeah <laughs> that's, that's, it. It. that's basically what they are saying <laughs> so you can only withdraw all that money in that goal save so if you if that's not your your goal you would withdraw it all and then take your two thousand and then put back again the three thousand mm -hmm. the thing is if you leave it in your everyday account you will no longer earn the interest rate so that you need to put it back again so that's the that's the one thing that puts me off yeah about just time bank that just, so they are saying that withdraw in your everyday account don't mm. touch your goal savings account but if you've got a time bank account you will normally put all your money in a goal save so that it ends interest, interest. you don't want to put money and we are human beings we go through things things happen we need money agently and now they are saying withdraw uh -huh. all of it uh -huh. the funny part is you've been saving it Bit by bit, but yes. you can't take it bit, bit by, by bit. bit. Why? Angus. Why? That Angus. is that is so strange. That is really so strange. Okay, and um maybe some of you are asking why do you get your card for the time bank since you don't have a branch and everything? You get your card at pick and pay mm -hmm. or at boxer. And then the other thing, the greatest reward with this uh account or having this time bank card is that it, when you pay using your time bank card at pick and pay you get a uh, smart shopper point double point yes, yes so that is awesome oh so awesome. so i think we've covered everything about time bank ne? let's not say everything mm -hmm. most, most of, of it, it because yes. obviously we do not know everything, everything. exactly <laughs> yes There's still more research to be done you can also do your research mm -hmm. more with regard to time bank because we are not financial advisors mm -hmm. we are not in the finance industry it's just something that interests us mm -hmm. and then we thought that whatever we know we should share with you guys so please share with us down on the comments down below your experiences with time bank what has been your most great thing about time bank what don't you like about time bank and yeah let's talk about time bank and all the benefits they're giving us yes please do share with us i think time bank is gonna become like a capital you know people have got even there is a bank or a, a net bank mm. uh, and then or apps and then they have capital mm. and then you're gonna have time bank so now you're gonna have three cards <laughs> three <laughs> three capital watch out time <laughs> bank is coming for you <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, hey, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your family and friends, and refer and this to your colleagues and your whoever, your loved ones, guys. Uh, we love hearing from you. So yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video and learn something from it. You, you who are watching, subscribe. Turn Please that subscribe, subscribe button yes. to, to, to gray. It shouldn't be red. Yeah. Let it be gray. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>